Hello, this is Jackie Williams, and today I want to share with you a few tips and information about some of our adhesives that hopefully will be useful for you. So first thing I want to share about is the Fast Fuse, and this is um, very similar to the snail, so it works exactly the same as the snail adhesive, except this one is much stronger than the snail adhesive, so it just depends what you're looking for. Now the tip to know with these, with both tape runners, is the correct way to hold it is so that the words are going um, the right side up, so you're not holding it so the words are uh, upside down. Plus, if you're right-handed, it sort of naturally goes that way. The other thing that I've seen people do is press far too hard. This one, you'll get the best results if you use a very, very light touch, as light as possible, and just roll it down, and then when you get to the end of where you're going, you want to just flick it off to break the tape. And then same thing on the other side, and then just flick it off. Okay, now, um, the other thing to, to know, to maintain the um, fast fuse and the snail, but particularly the fast fuse, sometimes you get a little bit of adhesive gummed up through here, and it will catch onto the tape and not let it roll smoothly. So, um, if you're having any troubles, you just might want to just, you can even open the case and just clean up any little gummy bits there. Okay, so let's go ahead and adhere that on. Okay, the second thing I want to show you is our tear and tape. Now, it looks like just your standard double-sided tape, but it's called tear and tape for a reason because you don't need to use your scissors. Now, the advantage there is, one, it's faster, and two, you don't need to gum up your good scissors. So that's one of my pet peeves is sticky scissors. So what I do, in this example, I'm obviously putting down ribbon, is I would just hold what I want to um, adhere, press down some tape, and then just snap it off like that. And once you've done it a few times, you can actually get quite, oops, except that is completely crooked, you can actually get quite quick with it. And let's do our second one. If I had three hands, I could do, have done both of these at the same time. There we go, so nice and fast. And then, in this case, I'm not gonna peel the backing off, but if you were, you just need to, what's called burnish, so you just kind of press the backing down so it really, the adhesive really adheres, and then um, the backing just, just will then flick off. Okay, then the next thing I want to show you is dimensionals. Many of you may be familiar with dimensionals now. I've already put them on the back of here, but one little tip. Now, dimensionals give you that 3D effect. Ours are about half the height of other brands, so you're not getting cards that are overly tall or unstable, is I like to just press my thumb in the middle of them, and then you see the sides flick up, and then they just the backings just pop off. That's just the fastest way to do it, I found. Oops. Okay, and then you can go ahead and adhere that where you want it to be. Okay, then we've also, we've also got the fine tip glue pen. Now, there's just a couple things with this. Um, it is very liquidy. You can see even on the video that it's like water in there, so you don't want to squeeze it very hard. Also, when you, um, only the white part comes off, uh, well, actually, all of it comes off, but when you use it, you only want to take the white part come off, uh, off. When the first time you open it, you want to take off everything, so right here at the base of the black part, and there's a seal, so you want to take that seal off. Quite a few people have come to me and said it doesn't work because the seal is still on there. And then again, you also want to make sure this tip stays clean. So every few times you use it, you may just need to wipe it off. I find the easiest thing is rather than putting the glue onto whatever you want to adhere, is to put the glue onto your project and then take, even though I can't pick them up, take the elements you want to adhere and place them onto the project on top of the glue. Now because this glue is fairly liquid and watery, 
it doesn't dry as quickly as some of the other things like the tapes and stuff. So you'll just want to leave that for a while. Get that more straight, or straighter, I should say. One last thing about the fine tip glue pen. The lid has a needle or a it's not actually a needle, but a little wire to that goes down into the tip to keep it free and clear and unclogged. Some people struggle to get that tiny thing into that tiny thing. So one thing that helps is to lean it up against your finger, both pieces up against your finger. That just keeps them from wiggling around and then slide it on in. Next, we will do our Tombow liquid glue. This is one of my personal favorites. So this one, I just want to point out you have a fine tip and then on the other end you have a thicker tip. A lot of people don't even realize this is there. Sometimes when the bottle is nearly empty, because you can store it like this, you'll be able to get glue out of this end even when this one um, is proving more difficult. Oh dear. So the mistake that we have workers here, so sorry about that. The mistake most people make with this one is they use far too much. This is a very sticky glue. So I try and teach people to just use tiny dots like that. That is actually adequate, believe it or not. Or you can use a very thin line like so. So um, whichever you feel more comfortable doing. But this glue will last you a very long time. There you go. And the advantage to this one is unlike tape, uh, because it's liquid, you've got a few moments where you can adjust anything should you need to. Okay, then our last thing I wanna show you are glue dots. So this, this comes in a roll and you, well, maybe you can see there's little dots of very sticky glue. I find it's it's much easier to put the element onto the dot and then pull it off rather than pulling the dot off with your fingers and then trying to stick it onto something that just proves very um, messy. So I'm just gonna put one heart on here like that, but I've got the others ready to go. The only other thing I'll point out about glue dots is to not unwrap it to where you're using it and then leaving all these other glue dots exposed because then when you put it in your drawer or back in the box, all these glue dots are gonna come off and you've wasted them. So you wanna keep a, a length of, of the wrapping paper around any of your unused glue dots so that they don't come off um, without getting your use out of them. So I think that is everything I want to share for today. I hope you've learned something and you can get a little more value and use out of your adhesives. Thanks for watching.